Oh. Man, do you want to make a hundred dollars trading cryptocurrencies? In this video, I'm going to be sharing a way with you, a beginner strategy, which will enable you to make a hundred dollars a day without margin, without leverage trading, using a simple, simple beginner strategy anybody can use. So smash up the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you want to follow along, you're going to need a few tools. You're going to need trading view. Links in description. Get yourself trading view, which is completely free. They have a paid version, but the free version is absolutely fine. And then you want to get yourself set up on Bybit if you want to follow along. Bybit is an exchange which I use for day trading. And the beautiful thing is they have the trading view charts integrated with it, which makes it super, super simple. And this is where you're going to want to buy and sell your cryptocurrency. So we're going to go through this in detail. Make sure you guys hit up the like button and subscribe. And this strategy requires two simple indicators. But before we get into those indicators, we need to identify which cryptocurrency do we want to trade. But the beautiful thing about this strategy is it works with any cryptocurrency. It works with stocks, right? And therefore, you can pick any one you like, and you will see this pattern happen time and time again, because technical analysis is about spotting patterns historically and then predicting that they're more likely to happen again. Now, remember, if you're not an experienced trader, it's very important that you practice really, really good risk management. I'm going to explain the basics of risk management, and that is ensuring you have a stop loss, a take profit, and a clear entry point. And when you do so, you're going to want to make sure that you stack the cards in your favor. In other words, when the price moves against you, you want to stop out quite quickly. That way, if you fail two or three times, but you win one trade, net net, you should be good. And that's the key behind risk management is making sure that you're not trying to win every single trade. You should set yourself up such that even if you lose a couple of trades, the winning one will far outdo the losing ones because you had a good stop loss in place. So, First thing we need to do is identify which crypto we want to trade. In this demonstration, I'm going to use Phantom because we talk about it a lot on this channel and I want to show you guys why it works so well. Now, you could use Bitcoin, you could use Ethereum, but then you're going to get less percentage moves. Remember, the smaller the market cap of a project, and I'm using coinmarketcap.com here, you can use CoinGecko, there are other websites which show you different coin information, but I've typed in Phantom and as you can see, you get the latest price, I can see the market cap, and this is what I want to look at here. This is a low market cap, okay? This is 671 million. This is a low market cap compared to other projects which are in the hundreds of billions. Now, what that means is it's more volatile, it's more risky, but when we're trading on a day trading perspective, that is what we want, right? We're not investing for the long run. We're day trading. And so we're going to get in and we're going to get out with clear take, take profits and stop losses. So this is perfect for us because we can get big swings in a day. I mean, look at today, up 14%. And that is what we want. We don't just want Bitcoin, which is going to go up 2 or 3% because we're not leverage trading. So we want to get a decent percentage move, right? So now we've identified which coin we want. Now we pull up this trading view chart. And I want you guys to pull out two indicators. The first I want you to pull out is something called the RSI. And I've already got it enabled here. But in essence, you can press forward slash on your keyboard and you can type in relative strength index and you'll see it here. Click it and you'll get it here down below. Now, you'll then be able to click on this settings cog. When you click on the settings cog, you can set a few different settings. Now, what I've done is I've made the RSI line white. I've put the upper bound at 70 and I've put the lower bound green at 30. Now, what this means, if you look carefully here, the RSI, the relative strength index, gives you an indication of whether a coin is oversold or overbought. Typically, if we're taking a long position, i.e. we're betting on the price going up, we want to buy when the coin is in oversold territory, i.e. when it's below this green line at 30. The opposite is true. If you want to short, and I don't short, but if you want to, let's say, sell, you want to do so when you're getting towards this overbought territory, which is when you cross the red line. Okay, so that's your RSI. And you guys can set it up the same as me using the settings cog here and setting those colors. I like red and green because it's like a traffic light, right? I, I, it reminds me green is good. Red is bad for the downside. Okay, the next thing I want you to do is go forward slash and type in BB for Bollinger Bands. I want you to switch on these Bollinger Bands. And I'm going to go ahead. I've got this ready as well. And again, you can change your colors. I press settings and you can turn them into yellow. Great stuff. And the yellow is your upper bound and the bottom yellow is your lower band of the Bollinger Band. Now, what do we want to do here? Well, the strategy is very, very simple and any beginner can use this. And the beauty behind this is when you use one indicator, oftentimes that can give you a misrepresentation of what's going to happen. 
when you've got two indicators or even three but i like to keep it simple for two if you can have two indicators lining up to tell you the same story the chances of your trade being successful really do double and triple up okay so let's take an example and this is all we want to do we want to look for a s indication that the price is oversold okay so the price is oversold in other words we are close if not below the green line and we're at the bottom line of our Bollinger Band, okay? So I've got an example here, as you'll be able to see here. At this point here, you are below your Bollinger Band. Hopefully you guys can see that. We're below the Bollinger Band. We're at the bottom line of the Bollinger Band. And if we look here, if we look at the RSI, where my cursor is, if you can follow my cursor, we are in oversold territory at this point. This is a great indication to take a long position here on Phantom with a tight stop loss based on risk management. And then you want to ride this towards the top uh, here. Now, as you would see, if we were to take this trade in this scenario, you would have made a handsome return here of 30% on the spot market, guys. It's without leverage. And obviously, as long as you had a tight stop loss, you would have managed your risk. Now, if you're new to trading, the biggest thing I would recommend you guys is to just practice with money you're willing to lose, right? Get some pocket money, get some uh, coffee money, some lunch money. Don't go out for dinner with your friends. Don't buy those trainers and start practicing trading with that. Now, when you start off, if you're experienced, if you've got a smaller account, you can risk up to, let's say, 5% of your account, right? If it's a small, small account. If you've got a decently sized account, only risk 1% of, uh, of your complete account size on any trade, okay? Very, very important. Do not risk more than 1% of your account size. Now, what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is the distance from when you enter to your stop loss should only be 1% of your account size. The other rule I want to give all of you guys when you start trading, if you make three wrong trades in a row, if you lose money on three trades in a row, turn your laptop off, turn your computer off, go for a walk, no more trading for the day. That's a hard and fast rule, which I've been using for many, many years, okay? So those are the basic risk management rules you guys need. And the other thing is don't overtrade. Don't keep trading to try revenge trading. That is one surefire way you're going to get wrecked. Now, let's take this other example. As you can see here, let's bring out our arrow. You can see here we're at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. Great, that's the first sign. And we can also see we're oversold on the RSI. This gives us the indication that we can go long. And again, if we went long on this position and we took this position to where we are now, and that we, this is one of the trades we recommend on the channel uh, over this weekend, you can see we're up 28% again on the same coin. What a beautiful strategy. What a simple, basic strategy for you guys to get started making your trades. Now, when when you see these entries, what you want to do is you want to be in Bybit and you want to make sure your account is funded. So you want to go and deposit some USDT or you can connect your credit card to buy USDT, which is a stable coin using your cash. Once you've done that, you'll be able to go ahead and execute a trade. So let's take a look at what this could look like. Let's move me out of the way. And what you can see here on the right hand side is your panel and your panel gives you buy and sell orders. So we've just identified our trade. As we said, we've got RSI, we've got the Bollinger Band, and we want to go ahead and buy. So what we do is we make sure we take uh, an amount of our account and we choose to buy at limit order. Now I want to explain what the difference between limit order, market order, and conditional order is. A limit order very, very important. A let me get me back on screen. A limit order tells you to buy a certain quantity at a certain price. In other words, I want to buy Phantom at 23 cents. And therefore, it will only execute your buy order at 23 cents. And it will buy you, let's say, a thousand USDT worth, whatever you specify here on the on this panel in the quantity box just here behind my head here. OK, now a market order is very different. Let's say you're in a rush to just get into the market right now. You don't care what the exact price is. You just want to get in the market right now because you think it's going to go up. You go ahead and place a market order. You say, I want to buy a thousand thousand USDT right now at whatever the best price the exchange can execute you at and it will go and execute the best price it possibly can now you've got to be careful with this you can get slippage and therefore the best practice is always use limit orders and say i want to get in at this certain i want to buy a thousand okay i want to buy a thousand at this certain price and you can enter the price okay of which whatever the exact price is you want to enter and it will only execute when uh, bitcoin or phantom or whichever coin you're trading hits that price very very important then I'm going to click on sell because now we need to set our stop loss and our stop loss is going to say sell conditional. Now, what this is means is I want to sell when a condition is met and the condition we're going to meet is when we hit a certain price. 
okay now there's there's two we're gonna make two sense orders we're gonna have one for where we want to take our profit but we're also gonna have one in case the trade goes the other way it goes bad and we mess up right it's called a stop loss so we're gonna let's do the stop loss first so let's say we bought in phantom at 20 cents and it goes down to 19 cents we want to trigger a stop loss so i want to sell my entire position so i want to sell a thousand usd at the 0.19 so when we hit 19 cents i want it to get me out of the position okay so sorry let's just recap that so we want to go trigger price at 0.19 okay i want it to sell all of my position at 0.19 now you can also choose how far this way it gets a little bit more complicated but you can choose how low you want it to go so you can say sell at 0.19 and keep selling just get out of the position as quickly as you can even if it goes to 0.18 0.17 0.16 just keep selling or you can say no only sell at 0.19 if it falls to 0.18 or 0.17 stop selling i'd rather hold it at that point and that is something else you could look at here as well okay that's called a stop limit so another thing for you to take heed of Similarly, you can use the same thing to take profit. So you can say, I bought in at 20 cents on Phantom. I want to get out at 25. That's my first price target. And let's say you want to get out of half your position. You can say, I want $500 to come out at this certain price. When we hit 25 cents, I want it to automatically. So really, really important. Again, practice with small amounts just to practice how these work. How to buy one, buy one dollar, sell one dollar, have a stop loss at this point, have a take profit at this point, and you'll be good to go. But that simple trading method, guys. If you just keep rinsing and repeating, using Bybit, links in the description, they'll give you up to four thousand dollars in bonuses when you sign up, guys. So it's an absolute no-brainer. You can trade using that bonus. You can practice on their dime as well. But for you guys to be able to make, you know, these kind of 25, 30 percent moves in a day, don't let anybody tell you this is not possible. Unfortunately trading is getting a bad name now due to some people irresponsibly doing 100x leverage trade 50x leverage trades you don't need to do that you can make decent returns on the spot market and learn how to become a sustainable good technical trader now the final point i want to make before wrapping this up is my channel is all about marrying up technicals with fundamentals so whenever you align your technical analysis make sure you align it with fundamentals of what's going on in the economy for example, you're about to trade a long position on Phantom like we just saw because the Bollinger Band lined up with the RSI. Have a quick peek at the news. Have a quick peek at Bitcoin. Does Bitcoin look like it's about to fall off a cliff? If it does, what's the chance that your altcoin falls too, right? Line it up with the macro, with what's going on from the fundamentals, and your chances of winning those trades are going to skyrocket up. Hope you guys found this video useful. As always, don't forget to smash up the like button and subscribe. Get yourself set up on Bybit and follow along. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me on Twitter or in our Discord, ijaz.uk forward slash discord thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one